Hey everyone, welcome to another of my uh, video tutorials. Um, today we're going to look at how to simplify s expressions using the index law. Now, <clears throat> you should have watched my video on index laws uh, if you want to be able to do some of the work here. Okay, so if you haven't watched it, can you make sure you go and watch it now? Um, so let's take a look at some of the examples for today. Um, let's say, for instance, I had something like 3n and I want to multiply this by 2. The first thing you should always do whenever you're simplifying expression is multiply the numbers together. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and then multiply by the n which is left over. So we get 6n. Pretty easy. Example number 2. Let's say we had 10a and I wanted to divide that by Mm, should we say 2? Again, perform the operations with the numbers first. So do 10 divided by 2, which gives me 5. And here we've got the a left, so we're going to have just 5a. Question num Example number 3, sorry. Uh, let's say now we had something like m multiplied by another m. We know for a fact using the index law, when you multiply two same uh, base, in this case we've got m, and we have an invisible one, an invisible one, then it becomes m to the power of 2. Example number 4. Let's say we had something like 3m, and I want to multiply this by 2m. Well, Let's look back at what we've done before. We know for a fact we're going to multiply the numbers first. So we're going to do 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And now we've got m, which is being multiplied by another m. So m multiplied by m is equal to m squared, which is what we've seen just earlier. Okay, there's your answer. All right, now let's move on to uh, some divisions. So that will be our example number 5. So let's say we had, shall we say, 8R, and um, I want to divide that by 2. Well, again, perform the operation with the numbers. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4, and I've got my R, which stays there. All right, now I'm going to move on to a new page. Let's say we had, so we were on example number 6, yeah. So let's say we had um, 8r to the power of 2, and I want to divide that by 2r. Here, what we need to do is, again, do the divisions first, so 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. And here we've got r squared divided by another r. And as I said to you, if you have watched one of my videos on index laws, when you've got the same base, in this case we have an R, and you have a division, then you have to take away the powers. Here the power is 2, and when you've got a letter on its own, without anything written, then the power is 1. So, if I go ahead and simplify that, then I've got R to the power of 2, take away 1, so that gives me r to the power of 1. Now, let me just ask you a question. Do I need to write the 1 here? Well, you should have said no because it's not necessary. So, we can finalize our answer as being just 4r. Okay? Let's take a look at one more example. Let's say we had 3b to the power of minus 3 and I want to divide that by 3b to the power of 2. Again, let's perform the operation with the numbers first. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Now you could have said you don't need to write the 1 and you're right. Okay? So if you want if you don't want to write it then you can. If you want to write it then you can as well. Okay? It's not a problem. Then I've got b to the power of minus 3. 
divided by b to the power of 2. So here we've got division, so I'm going to take away the powers. So I end up with b to the power of minus 3 minus 2. That leaves me with 1b to the power of minus 5. Alright, now we're going to get rid of that one because it's not necessary to have it there. So we've got b to the power of minus 5. And when you have a negative in <coughs> negative power or indices, then you can write it the same thing as 1 over b to the power of 5. Okay. Um, I hope that helps, and um, I hope to see you in another of my video tutorials. Take care. Bye.